So, precious saints, as we stand at the Eastern Gate here in Zimbabwe, we are here in Harare. We are preparing for revival meetings this weekend. God has given us the specific instruction to make sure that we come in, we close the gates of the enemy and we pull down the spiritual forces. We go to the high places, we pull them down also. God, I pray. Lord, that there, there shall be a dismantling, a disarming, a dethroning of every spiritual force operating. Lord, that you would send your angels to change the guard right now. Right now. Send your angels to change the guard right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible tells me, according to his word, he says in Psalm 24, it says, Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, you everlasting doors. And the King of Glory shall come in. Who is the King of Glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O you gates. You everlasting, lift them up. And your everlasting doors and the King of Glory shall come in. We declare today that these gates shall open. These gates shall open and the King of Glory shall come in. Praise the Lord, precious saints. We are now at the South Gate. The Amen. South Gate within Harare in Zimbabwe. And we are praying for revival to come not only to the city, but to the nation, not only to the nation, but to the continent. And the Bible says, according to Deuteronomy 28 verse 12, it says, the Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless all the work of thy hand, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. Father, we pull down those spiritual forces that have been operating within this south gate right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord, precious saints. We are now at the west gate, the west gate of Harare, Zimbabwe. This is a cry. This is our cry today. It is our cry for revival to come to Zimbabwe, to Harare, especially this weekend. Today marks the new year. When the sunset comes tonight, it is going to be the new year in the Hebrew calendar. And the Lord said to me, this would be a year of release. There shall be a release of His Spirit. There shall be a release of revival that is going to come to the heavens. The Lord, we pray today, as we bind up the forces of darkness that are operating at this gate, let them be bound up. And Lord, that you would send right now your angels to surround right now, to outmatch, to outclass, to outnumber right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare that revival shall come to the city. Revival shall come to this nation. We declare right now that the blood of Jesus Christ, as there is a changing of God, as there is a changing of God, we believe the blood of Jesus. Christ, right now. Somebody say hallelujah. Amen. We're believing that there is a latter rain revival that is coming to the nations, and I believe that it's going to also be ignited here in Zimbabwe as people are hungry and thirsty for more of God. Not more of man, not more of programs, not more of finances, not more of material things, but rather more of God. So Heavenly Father, we just come to you today as we come to these north gates and we bind up the forces of darkness that have been operating behind the north gates right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be bound up, let them be dethroned, disarmed, dismantled today in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be rendered powerless this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we just pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We break the power of every accursed object that has been placed from this meeting today through the repentance of the people that have come forward. Lord, let everything be broken from every accursed object today in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I thank you 
for the repentance that came today. Of course, Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ right now that the kingdom of darkness is rendered powerless over these cursed objects today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we plead the blood of Jesus Christ today in Jesus' name.